This well proved more comfortable than I expected. I had no need for heat-resistant chili ingredients or cold-resistant warm ones. I cooked for pleasure instead of survival. You're, you're a chef and all you had were boxes of arrows? A little bit weird, but what the, the fuck is going on up there? No, I was being so quiet. Okay, you're having fun you doing your thing, I guess. I'll climb on your back. I can't. You're just not interested in me anymore? Okay. We're pals. We're pals now. <laughs> Going home, yeah. Hey, we're friends now. Yay! Thanks for the toasty Hylian shroom. I hope you don't mind. I take some more of your food. Thanks, guy. Wow, what a nice guy. I'm sorry. More of these things. You know how much we like these things and we always engage with them mechanically and otherwise. <laughs> oh my god! My frog! I'm tireless. Thank you, frog. Let's use a regular bed and then we'll sleep again all night and use a Melania bed. Fucking Link comes by to- <laughs> Impa! Oh my god, you look so cool! What a surprise it is to see you here after all this time. I noticed this geoglyph from a distance while I was standing on high ground. Examining it up close, I cannot make out what it depicted. I took to the air in the balloon Pura gave me, but then, alas, <sighs> the wind struck and completely sheared the balloon off the base. Don't worry, Grandma. We gotcha. What fuck is it? What fuck? Oh, you fixed my balloon. Thank you, Link. Light a fire there and the balloon will start to float. Then we can be on our way. Just don't cook me. I don't taste very good. <laughs> At least not cooked. If you eat me raw, I'm a delicacy. <laughs> what? Apologize or I'm not lighting the balloon. <laughs> I apologize for nothing. I'm like 123 years old. Maybe even more. If you'd like to examine the geoglyph from ground level, you can float down with the paraglider. No need to worry about me. I can manage a simple landing. If I intended to come down. What? That's right, Link. You'll never see me again after this. Oh. I swim. So this is probably going to be number one. Hopefully. Oh! <gasps> Oh, shit! She did actually fucking go back in time. Oh my god. That's how- that's how Raru knows about us. Oh my god. Cool. Hold the fuck on. This is memory two? This is memory two? What the fuck is memory one? This is gonna take us a little bit more out of the way than something like the regional phenomena quest. I'm gonna keep following the regional phenomena. Sina Ko Kowak. Hey guys, you seen a Kowak around here? <laughs> An uplifting device. We get to play with hot air balloons. I'll be out of my mind. And you'll be out of ideas pretty soon, so let's spend. I can't see anything. <laughs> I can't see anything. This place is big. <laughs> this is a model of the solar system now. No, I'm making a disgusting contraption that will probably not function. We're getting there. Slowly. <laughs> this is a health and safety nightmare. Yeah. You got a point. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. No, 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 I put out the fucking... Shit! <gasps> no! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come <laughs> on! Okay, so my idea was that I could have the second balloon on here to, like, push it over to, um, to the other side. So we can just take that off. 
make things easier. Oh my god. Uh, don't let your dreams be dreams, friends. If it plays the jingle, you did it correctly. Hestu! There you are. Hi. Those trees over there. So scary. Shalika. Oh, are these the demon trees that try and kill you? Side adventures, Hestu's concerns. Hestu, we're gonna wait like two seconds for it to be sunshine and daylight. How you doing? Yeah, social anxiety, but only about trees specifically. I think that's probably a different kind of anxiety then. Lindor's brow cave, what the fuck? They got eyebrows in here? That's weird. I wouldn't make a cave out of eyebrows. That's nasty. For a sec, I thought this is Linda. Bobby! I, for some reason, I've completely lost whatever Bob's Burgers Linda impression I may have once had. I feel like I could do it if I gave it some time. But she's not coming to me right away. Uh-oh. Oh my god, it's another fucking shrine. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? Stop, 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 stop. No, 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 no. Let me go. Let me go. What the fuck is going on? Hello? No fucking way am I sticking around here for longer than I have to. Yep, nice fucking try. No thanks. Let's go, cheese. Did you say goat cheese? No cheese. Goat cheese? No cheese? What kind of cheese do you want? All right, you're very funny. I love when, uh, when, when you sue the horse and Link goes, hot, 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 hot. It's like one of the only things he ever says in his entire life. Hot, hot. Which Zelda game is this? Uh, Link to the Past. Ever since I, I came back down to Hyrule, my Sky Island adventures have been sorely underrepresented. But the depths are way bigger. <laughs> like, like there's there's so much more to the depths so far. What I need to do is continue to make my way over here. So let's just uh, let's just meet up with Cheese again. Hello, Cheese. Can I land on my horse? <laughs> Not without dying. <laughs> cool. All right. I maybe should have seen that coming. We gotta go the long way. Come on, Cheese. You're my fastest horse. You're my favorite customer. Thanks. Bye. Hello, can I have a dozen red roses, please? Oh, hi, Johnny. I didn't know it was you. That's me. What does the sign say? Uh-oh. Get away, get away, get away. <laughs> no bananas. Times are tough where I'm from. Merchants aren't able to reach my village because of the blizzard. Oh, shit. We're fortunate the kind folks in the stable are sharing their supplies with us. <laughs> it's thanks to them that the children still have full bellies. Oh. Oh, don't mention it, really. The Rito have been good neighbors to us. We're just returning the favor. There's a blizzard going on. Interesting. <laughs> what flavor? Hey! Lives are in danger. Cut it out! What is this? Whoa. You need help? Oh, oh, hey. Did you come down here to rescue me? Sir <laughs> no, my Velen. Mm. Happens to the best of us. <laughs> Sir? Yeah? You're never getting out of this hole. Oh shit! I'm falling out! <laughs> Needs more cannons. You're right. I think... I think it's oh. definitely missing the cannons. We did it. Wow, that's hot! Oh, I'm finally out! I got so nervous I fogged up my glasses and missed what you did! Uh. But you did it! You actually did it! Thank you so much! Lucky Clover Gazette. Oh! This isn't like... A full-on stable. This is the Lucky Clover Gazette! Shh! Try to see our editor here. He's getting ready for our big Princess Zelda investigation. You hear about our newspaper, right? Then you could talk to me too. Hey! Wanna be a reporter? Shine light on the truth? Expose the evils in our world? I could put in a word with Tracy for you. Uh, hey! Uh, quiet! Uh, uh? Don't you listen, Pen? I told you I was busy, but you keep bothering me! Huh. Hang on. You look like... 
<laughs> ah! L L hey, sorry, Pen, but could you get me in this guy a second here? I'm the editor of the Lucky Clover Gazette here, if you couldn't tell. So don't worry. I know everyone involved in this story. Pura asked us for help digging into what's happening to Princess Zelda. I was about to assign Pen to chase those leads, but he could use a partner. I won't tell Pen who you are. It's better if no one knows you're involved. What do you say? Think you could work with him as we investigate? Of course, I wouldn't ask you to do this for free, though that'd be nice. Wait just a second. I'm gonna get you a little incentive from the back. <gasps> oh, cool! Ta-da! The full set of froggy armor. With that on, it's easy to clean to wet surfaces. No slipping? Okay, listen up, partner. We're on the trail of truth about Princess Zelda. We can't let even the smallest clue slip through our talents. Or hands, in your case. We should visit as many stables as we can. Travelers always have plenty of goings on to talk about. Bye. So long! Hot lid! Woo! Every day we're out here grabbing hot lid! Woo! Not ponytails or pot or lids or pot lids! Woo! Guys, this game is really good. Kinda sounds like you're not enjoying the game right now. You're right. Ugh. I'm not. I actually, I just. It's actually just so underwhelming. Bridge is busted. With no bridge, there's no way to transport the goods to the Rito. I'm at my wit's end here. Ugh. It's cold. Especially now that the sun's gone down. I, I might have to throw another Hylian pine cone on the fire. Those things burn hot. Last time I stoked the fire with one, it caused a gust of wind that made my bangs all frizzy. Don't make me do this to her. How does this work? Whoa! Oh my god. Why does that happen? <laughs> We have officially made it to Rito Village. Welcome to the Swallow's Roost Inn. We don't have any other guests at the moment, so rest easy and rest well. Hi, Robbie dude, hello. Tommy will pay for his blue stinger crimes? You mean Tommy Tolerico? He gave blue stinger a 1.3 out of 10 a worse crime than murder. Can I be honest? Can I admit something really fucking crazy to y'all? What's blue stinger? Blue stinger is an action adventure game in which players alternate alternately Take control of Elliot Ballad and Dogs Bowser, the CEO of Nintendo? Oh, Dogs Bower. <laughs> I swear to God, I thought that said Bowser. Ride the winds? Don't mind if I do. Oh, oh, this, this, this is gonna be fun. Oh my God, this is gonna be so fun. Yeah! Whoa. It's, it's anti-fucking gravity. As Eminem once said, oh, there goes gravity. He did say that. He was saying that. Uh, probably a lot. I don't know. I don't know how much he said it. Wait, yes, I do. He goes, snap back to reality. Oh, there goes gravity. 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 They actually, they had so much sauce when they were coming up with this game. They had a big jar of sauce. And they knew that they were going to make a game with it. And then they ended up making this one. And everybody was super impressed. Yeah, they had so much size. I'm thinking, you know what? I'm thinking five in the morning, probably a coffee time. I'm sorry I slapped the microphone again. Five in the morning, Penny, what? Yeah, um, this is either going to be like one of the best days of my life or an absolute fucking nightmare. <laughs> but I'm just trying to enjoy the video game, okay? I'm not worrying too much about it. I'm not worried about it! That's not fair at all! You know I can handle it! Checking out that huge cloud wouldn't be hard. If we don't do anything, the village- Their voice is really cute. Huh? Is that you? God, the music is so good Here's in this game! Blink! Aw, hi! Tulin! Was Tulin in the last game? Do you remember my son, Tulin? He's grown taller, though perhaps not yet grown up. Well, maybe I would if you didn't treat me like a hatchling all the time. As long as you still think you can take on the world by yourself, you'll always be my little chick. You all can keep wasting your time treating the Song of the Stormwind arc like it's real, but not me. Listen, you... Unbelievable. Tulin wants me to let him go and find what's causing the blizzard, and he's having trouble hearing no. He mentioned a song? It's an old folk song here in Rito Village. 
long, long ago when we faced a different sort of upheaval, the village was saved thanks to a great flying ship. It's a song for children, mind you. Few adults still parrot it as if it were true. Still, every now and then you get reports among the Rito of a flying ship. Combine that with the blizzard caused by this upheaval, seems less far-fetched. If Princess Zelda's disappearance and the strange phenomena around the world are related somehow, ugh, we Rito would ordinarily love to contribute to your search. But this abnormal blizzard shows no sign of stopping. My husband hasn't been able to leave the village much since becoming the village elder. Hmm. I wish there was something I could do. But maybe I'm not the one you want. You should try asking Hearth. My friend Hearth has many sources of information, so we might already have a lead about Princess Zelda. All I can hear is Leon. Listen, I have the range. But my voice is still my voice. <laughs> like, there's only so much I can do. Thank you, are right. I don't know what voice to give you. Ah, so you're looking for Princess Zelda. It's hard to tell you, I haven't heard anything about her. Maybe Tulin could help. Little Tulin has developed a way with wings that puts the adults to shame. Even in this vicious weather, he patrols the skies and reports all kinds of useful information. His wind gust technique is something to see. I'm drawing up a special menu for those out scavenging for food or investigate. Ingredients are hard to come by in this blizzard, but we'll be fine if we get a little creative with our cooking. With the right ingredients, a little food can go a long way. Hey, I'm still here. We do not have many of them here, but... You're welcome to what's available. Aww. In tough situations like this, everyone needs to look out for each other and help where we can. Why are the birds so pretty? It's not fair. You might be a furry. We should make some food. Quick, quick cook break. Take this, it's all our food, but we share what we have. Adds it to your pile of peppers. Shush! They're just, they're lines of code. They're just ones and zeros. I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm not doing anything wrong. I never do anything wrong. I honest to God think this is more cooking than I like ever fucking did in breath of the wild i got I'm, I'm getting really into cooking this playthrough a huge food menu she's got a great personality and a huge food menu <laughs> bird lady staring in horror as you prepare a feast fit for kings in the middle of their famine oh thank you link i can't tell you what it means to me that you where, where are you going should have kept my guard up stupid monster that rotten monster took my good bow See? I've got to get it back! Help me out, Link. Sure. Oh! Really? Thanks! Did you know I can blow a strong gust of wind anywhere I feel like? Well set. Whoa! Now, dive. I win! There we go! I owe you big time, Link! Without you, my bow might have been lost for good! Uh-oh. All right, they're not gonna make a fool out of me twice. Let's go get them together. Can you do your your big gust of wind you were just talking about and just knock them off? Surely they are not so strong that they can uh, go up against gravity. Gravity is a force that we're all slave to. Well, I guess except for you who can literally fly. Never mind. What am I talking about? Hey, Tulin, Link. Huh? That was some impressive teamwork, you two. Or ah, oh, you saw that hearth? Talk about embarrassing. I didn't listen when Gasane tried to stop me. I thought I could handle it. I bet now you see why we were treating you like a small chick. Yeah. Uh -huh. You were right. It really is important to work as a flock. I think I finally get what Dad has been trying to tell me all this time. There was this whole thing with Princess Zelda. I spotted her getting attacked by a monster. It was such a surprise that I dropped my guard and it stole my bow. But I guess she was fine, because then she zoomed up above that cloud. Tulin, Link came out here looking for Princess Zelda. You should go with him and investigate the cloud you say the princess soared into. But I thought I wasn't allowed. Uh. We think it's likely that the blizzard is coming from inside that cloud after all. Oh, shit! Uh. I want to see for myself as soon as I can. But the strong winds make any approach from the sides impossible. The only way in is through the top. There's not a Rito alive capable of crossing the stormy sky, making it all the way there. Well, except for one. Uh. I'm talking about you, Tulin. No problem. The two of us together have got this. <laughs> I saw Princess Zelda up on the Sky Islands near Hebra Peak. Let's check there first. Oh. Link, Tulin, we're counting on you. That's just like a, that's just like a long... It's a long stretch of level. Oh, man.